Hi, in this video for the beginner's guide I continue with detailed explanation of the preferences in GIMP 2.8 and let's go to the edit menu and select preferences and go to the next tab interface and the first option allows us to select our system language by default that's English but if you don't know English or you have problems with some of the words you can go ahead and see if your native language is here in this drop down menu and when you select it then you can click OK but in order for this to take effect you need to restart GIMP also have in mind that not all of the languages are completely translated so you might see something in the language that you selected and some of the other words and menus uh, may remain in English now let's move on to the next option enable layer and channel previews and this over here is your layer preview if you select channels you see that we have previews also for the different red green and blue channels and this is on by default I recommend you keep it that way because it's very useful to have a small preview of your layers the only negative thing about it is that if you work on very large images this can slow down GIMP but of course if you have a fast computer this shouldn't be a problem now the default layer and channel preview size is set to medium but there is something here that can be a little bit confusing this works only on newly created dialogues so if I go ahead and change this to let's say very large click OK even if I restart GIMP this will not take effect I need to close this tab and I can do that by clicking over here on this option and select close tab then I can go to the windows menu dockable dialogues layers and you see now this took effect we don't need to restart GIMP for that let me move this over here now there is another way you can change the preview size you can just go ahead from here select preview size and I'm going to go back to medium and you see this took effect immediately and now if I restart GIMP the preview size will remain medium even though in the edit preferences interface the option is set to very large so this works only when you're creating a new dialogue now let's move on to the next option navigation preview size again this is set to medium and this concerns this option over here if I click and hold my mouse you'll see this preview window and this is set to medium now I can go ahead and select let's say large and you see this instantly takes effect I don't have to even click OK or restart anything let's try tiny you see how this looks and of course if you want to keep this to tiny you need to click OK to apply the option I'm going to set mine to medium again and go ahead with the keyboard shortcuts options let's start with the remove all keyboard shortcuts option pretty straightforward if you do this you will no longer have any keyboard shortcuts reset keyboard shortcuts to default values if you make a mistake if you mess up your keyboard shortcuts you can always use this option to go back to the defaults save keyboard shortcuts now so if you have made changes you can use this option and also we have this uh, checked here save keyboard shortcuts on exit when this is on if you forget to uh, save your keyboard shortcuts they will be saved when you exit GIMP configure keyboard shortcuts if you click here you'll get this dialog and from here you can choose from many options and uh, you can see here there's a tip how to uh, change or add a keyboard shortcut so nothing difficult here now this one use dynamic keyboard shortcuts this can be useful if you turn this on click OK and go to some of the menus let's say layer to image size and I can just mouse over the menu highlight this layer to image size option and for example hit control K and you see that this now set this keyboard shortcut to this option and this is a quick and easy way to add keyboard shortcuts to options that you use often so that's it for this video I hope that it was useful if it was, subscribe, like it, leave a comment, visit my channel. Bye for now.